Becoming a caregiver has been sort of an easy role for me to slip into, but it has changed my life a lot. It was a very severe winter and I felt I needed to protect my husband from cold. So I gave up my tennis, my social life, my activities. So I didn't expose myself to anything that I could bring home to my husband. That was a big change. My schedule became my husband's medical schedule. Every two weeks, we drove about two hours into the city for his doctor's appointment. In the car, we took with us emergency clothing and warm blankets and food and a to-go bag in case he had to stay at the hospital. In this bag, we had a document that had all of his information on it so we, it would make an easy transition. I was never separated from communicating with my husband. If I left, I had my cell phone. When he was home in bed, which he spent many hours of the day in bed, he had a bell to ring. And when he left the bed, he was supposed to take his whistle, which I'm not sure he did, but it seemed like a really good thing at the time. Um, during the early and the worst months, I slept very lightly with my cell nearby just in case we had an emergency. In the beginning of my husband's treatments, after a visit, we would get a 3 a.m. text because they posted his blood results to our account on their website. Often I'd receive that 3 a.m. text, I'd get up, go down to the computer and look at how his blood was doing. We were looking for any improvement any signs that things were getting better. Now, thanks to the six years and in increased technology, Ralph has his blood drawn and an hour later, we get a text that those results have been posted. Being a caregiver and seeing my husband go into remission has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. Just to know that I helped to make him more comfortable, healthier, and happy during this tough time of living with AML.